Amen. God bless you. God bless you, all my viewers. This is Oracle Television Network. The future is here. We are coming to you. I'm coming to you live from the Mountain of Deliverance, the headquarters of Oracle Television Network. Uh, I've just uh, had a prompting of the Holy Spirit just to come and speak to you. I may not know where you're watching me from. You could be in Edolet, you could be in Nairobi, Kajiado, all over in Embu. Our signal is reaching all those areas. And I want just to open up your eyes of understanding uh, on uh, understanding this curse that is punishing many, many believers. Is a curse that keeps punishing you financially. Because if you followed our teachings in most cases, I've zeroed in on one area where we deal with curses. And curses are real. Curses are real. And I say there are curses that punish you health-wise. There are curses that punish your marriage. There are curses that keep punishing you financially. And curses that punish you financially are the worst curses because a curse punishing you financially, we call this the curse of poverty. And many of us also have been punished with a curse I call career punishment. Career punishment is a curse that makes you never get the job you qualify for. You are being punished in your career by these curses. But I want us to study this curse that is punishing many people. I am calling it the curse of poverty. Understand that poverty is a curse. Poverty is a terrible, terrible curse. It is a cloud of afflicting people financially, especially in this continent we call the continent of Africa. I'll start by reading the book of 2 Kings, chapter number 4 from verse number 1. This is a very interesting story. Very interesting story in 2 Kings chapter 4 and verse number 1. And the Bible says, And they are uh, now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet. This woman was married by one of the sons of the prophet. That means she was married by a man of God, a man with God. So she came and cried unto Elisha, who was a senior principal of the school of the prophets. He was a senior prophet during that time. So this woman came to Elisha because the husband was serving under Elisha as one of the sons of the prophets. And her cry was, thy servant, my husband, is dead. That means this man of God, the son of a prophet, is dead. Uh, that means that prophets also die. Men of God also die, even in the Old Testament, they died. Even today we see men of God dying because of different uh, reasons, because of different reasons. But I pray for you in Jesus' mighty name that you shall not die but live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Uh, God's portion in the land of the living is long life. Long life is the portion of men of God, servants of God, and everyone who knows the word of God. So she came and cried by saying, my, sir, my husband is dead. That is your servant who is my husband is dead. And you know that your servant did fear the Lord. This was a man who loved God. He feared God. He did everything that was pleasing before God, but he has died. That means even good people die. Just the way bad people die, even good people die. But there is always a reason why a good people or a good people die. There must be something that went wrong somewhere. But we'll look at that uh, next time. So she cried to Elisha and said, My uh, husband, who was a servant in your ministry, is dead. And you know that your servant did fear the 
the Lord. He was a man that feared God. He went to church. He was a faithful tither. But this is what uh, is a problem. And the creditor has come uh, to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen, to be slaves. In other words, this prophet of God died and left a debt. And uh, when you study this story very well uh, and understand that even if somebody dies, it does not mean their debt have also died. There is somebody who will pay for that debt later on. And this is what I'm calling a punishing curse that loads you with debts. And there are people watching me, you are drowning in debts. You are drowning in debts you cannot service. Uh, you have a loan with this bank. You have a loan with this bank. You have a loan with this bank. You owe the landlord. You owe the school. You owe everywhere. You owe the shopkeeper, the supermarket. You are actually sinking in debts. But I pray with this revelation. You will not die in death in Jesus' name. This woman cried and he said, the creditor has come. This is one of the most puny, uh, terrible and punishing curse that can embarrass believers. This is a prophet who has died, but he has left a debt on his own wife. Uh, a woman now doesn't know how to handle the debt. And the auctioneers have come purposely to carry the children to be slaves and pay what their father was not able to pay. I am asking the Holy Spirit today, by this revelation, this curse that is punishing you with debts, it shall be terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. Poverty is one of the most terrible curse that is punishing people with debts. It is punishing you with lack insufficiency you cannot meet your daily needs listen to me when a curse of poverty is punishing your life these are some of the things that keep happening in your life number one when a curse of poverty is punishing your marriage your business you will experience what i call you labor without favor you keep laboring but your business has no favor in the cbd you operate a, a business your career you labor without any favor that is one of the symptoms that tell you there is a punishing curse secondly you work under close to heaven. When a curse of poverty is punishing you, even heaven is silent. Even heaven is silent to those that are crying. There are people who cry. We are asking the government. We are asking the government. Even their cry cannot be heard in heaven. Even the government cannot respond to their cry because they are under punishment of a curse that I'm calling the curse of poverty. If you have come across my book, on the 21 curses, the 21 hidden curses, 21 curses that every man, every woman must break. One of the curses that is called a silent curse that is punishing believers, punishing men and women in the world is this curse I'm calling the curse of poverty. Now re listen to me. The curse of poverty cannot be eradicated by World Bank. The world organizations cannot eradicate poverty from Africa because poverty is not a condition. It is a spirit which is propagating curses, curses of lack, curses of insufficiency, leaving hand to mouth, pushing all the family to the grave. It is called a punishing curse. Thirdly, when this curse is punishing believers, punishing men and women, you suffer what I call prolonged joblessness. Prolonged joblessness. There are so many graduates in the world today, in Africa today, fully qualified, but they cannot get a job because they are coming from a background of a curse that is punishing them, is punishing their career. 
prolonged joblessness prolonged joblessness anytime you are a qualified uh, believer you are a qualified graduate but you cannot get stable jobs you only get casual jobs this is what i'm calling the curse of poverty is punishing you gradually it is punishing you gradually Number four, when you go through what I'm calling financial hardship, financial hardship, you could be suffering what I'm calling the curse of poverty that is punishing your pockets. It is punishing your accounts. Anytime you give checks that are bouncing, checks that are bouncing, it is a signal and a sign you are being punished by a curse of poverty that want to put you in what they call today uh, these books in the uh, banks where they put you in a black you can't get a loan you can't get a alone in any bank. Why? Because you are suffering a punishing curse. Prolonged joblessness, financial hardship, all the entire family are graduates but nobody can secure a permanent job. They are suffering joblessness and the only work they can get is casual labor. I command this curse to be broken out of your life. I break this curse in the name of Jesus Christ. This curse that is punishing your husband. Oh my, I am speaking to a woman. You're watching me. You have children and they are not going to school because your husband is jobless. He was terminated uh, from his employer from his employment five years, six years ago, and he has tried to secure a job he cannot because there is a cash punishing your husband with joblessness. I pray that when you get this message, begin to wage war against this curse of poverty. I'll be giving you the way out of this poverty that is punishing you. Number four or five, anytime you're suffering this punishing curse, you suffer what I call the loss of property. You lose property. We see in big places like in Kenya, a Gikomba market getting burnt every year. Loss of property worth millions, millions. This is a sign there is a cash punishing you. Somebody tells me that, Pastor, I lost 10 million. I lost 15 million in a fire funnel. Listen to me. This is a curse that is punishing you. But I pray for somebody in Jesus' name. This is the last time this curse will punish you in Jesus name. I break the curse that is punishing your family. This curse that has been punishing you in your family. I terminate it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any time you incur huge debts, this woman cried because the husband had left a debt and the children were the collateral. The children were the collateral to pay Yes, as a collateral to pay the loan that their father left and he is already in the grave. I pray that you will not be pushed to the grave by debts. You will not be pushed to the grave by your debts in the name of Jesus Christ. Huge debts is a sign there is a curse punishing you. There are what I call debts that cage families, communities, cities, and even nations. There are nations languishing in debts. They were given huge loans by World Bank. They were given huge loans by China, by Japan government, by America, and they are languishing in poverty. They cannot service the loan. Why? Because it is a punishing demon. It is a punishing spirit to keep you stretching your hands every day for help to stretch your hand to the west to the east asking for loans help us help us I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ you shall be a hey you shall be the first one to be delivered out of this punishing curse in your family in Jesus name 
Another thing that shows you are under a punishing curse, that is a poverty punishing curse. And when you have a, what I call inability to keep jobs, you move from one job to the other. You move from one job to the other, one business to the other. It is a sign there is a punishing curse that is punishing you. You are in this job today. You are a clerk today. Tomorrow you are in business. Another day you are an office messenger. Another day you are a clerk. Another day you are hired. This lack of inability to keep jobs, it is a sign there is a power punishing you without your knowledge. Inability, inability to keep good jobs. You get a job, you work for three months. I prayed for young one young man who had a, was a graduate from the university. And when I prayed for him, he secured a job in a bank. It was on a Thursday he took his certificates. And immediately they saw the certificates on the Thursday. They said, you have to report on Monday. We've been looking for somebody who can fill this space. And he was uh, admitted, he was absorbed on Monday. He only worked for one month in that bank. He applied another job in another bank. He got a job. But when he went to the second bank, he made an obvious mistake and he was fired from that day. He can't keep a job. By the time he came to me, he was in tears, pastor, uh, remember me, I was here sometimes back, you prayed for me, I got a job with this bank, after I got some experience, I applied to another bank, they absorbed me, after a month, I was fired because I made a mistake, now as I'm talking to you, my uh, brother is supposed to be admitted in the university, last night he got stroke, he got paralyzed from the waist downwards, so he says, pastor, you have to pray for me again. Again, I say this is a punishing curse. It has eliminated you out of the job. Now your brother is paralyzed from the waist downwards and is supposed to report to the university. These are curses that keep punishing people. My dear viewer, don't be cheated that there are no curses. Don't be cheated. Curses are real. Blessings are real. Healing is real. Sicknesses are real. There are people languishing in poverty. Others are languishing in sickness because of lack of knowledge. And that is why the Oracle Television Network is here to teach you how to, to conquer the enemies in your family line, to conquer these powers that have followed your family line using poverty, sicknesses that cannot be cured, diseases that send people to the grave prematurely. Less inability to keep jobs is a symptom and is a sign to show there is a curse that is punishing you on a weekly, monthly, yearly basis. Now, this is important. Whenever you understand, as you are working, wherever you are working, you experience demotion in your financial status, your salary reduction. You can never be promoted. You are always demoted, and your juniors take. Your position. It is a sign there is a punishing curse. There is a curse that is hidden punishing you uh, gradually. Poverty is punishing your life. Demotion in your financial status. You are earning 20,000. They reduce your salary to 16 to 15,000. It is a sign the enemy is punishing you with the curse of poverty. Not only that, any time you realize you are in one grade, one job grade for 15, 20 years, they cannot uh -huh, uh -huh, add your salary. They, you don't have salary increment for 30 years, 20 years. It is a curse of poverty that has been punishing you. No one wants to increase your salaries. You work under union organization organizations where salary increment is 1%. 2%, 3%. By the time you retire, your salary cannot buy you land, cannot buy you anything in life. It is a sign there is a curse that has been punishing you silently. 
but it shall be broken in Jesus' name. Lack of promotion for a long time. One, one, one man was promoted six months before his retirement. A man was promoted six months before his retirement. That is when he received promotion. That means late promotions in life is a sign there is a curse that is punishing your life. But I pray for you in Jesus' name. May this punishing curse begin to break out of your life. Every curse that is punishing your mother, punishing your father, the curse that is punishing your entire family, I disgrace this curse in the name of Jesus. You are not ordained to suffer. You were not anointed to suffer in Jesus' name. You are born again Again, never to suffer again. And as I pray today in this broadcast, I pray that the hand of God will be upon you in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will not suffer this punishing curse in Jesus' mighty name. Listen to this. When this curse of poverty is punishing you, you realize there is so many people that are given early retirement, early retirement, early retirement, and the monies you're given cannot sustain you the rest of your life. You are retiring after early retirement after 30 years of working, and what they give you is 1.5 million. That is not even money enough to buy land and build. You can't start any business with that kind of money in Kenya. 1.5 million retirement benefits, and you don't, you are not given lump sum, you are given in two installments. That is a punishing curse that has wasted you for 30 years and you end up being given an early retirement. Early retirement. You, others are healthy, but you're still given an early retirement. You can't work in any other organization. Early retirement because those that are looking for job now, they are younger. I pray for somebody watching me right now. You were given an early retirement and you got sick. You are diabetic. You have high blood pressure, hypertension. You have stroke because there is a curse that want to waste the money you got after retirement. These are what I'm calling uh, curses that keep punishing the black people. Curses that keep punishing believers. Even men of God are under these punishing curses. They struggle in the ministry for years. For years. You've tried to raise money to buy sound. You cannot. You try to raise money to buy land for the church. You can't. You struggle because there is a curse punishing you as a visionary. And there is a curse punishing your members. I decree and I declare by the oracle of this television network, may these curses release you now. May that curse be broken out of your life in Jesus' mighty name. When you realize you have a business breakdown, business breakdown is a sign Punishing curses are pursuing you. All these are symptoms that tell you a curse of poverty is punishing you gradually. But I want you to understand... Yes, you must allow God to give you the principles of walking out. And that is why Jesus came. Jesus came so that you and I may enjoy the benefits of salvation. Aha, listen and listen to me. I am reading Luke chapter number 4, verse number 18. Luke chapter number 4 and verse number 18. Follow me very closely. Luke chapter 4 and verse number 18. The Bible says this was the first sermon of Jesus after he came from a fasting of 40 days and 40 nights. The first sermon, the first reading he read in his ministry before he began preaching. This was his first reading in the Bible. Luke chapter 4 and verse number 18. But when you study this, uh -huh, this chapter... Uh, this is chapter number four. We can start from verse number 16. From the wilderness, he has been fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. This is Luke 4, 16. And he came to Nazareth, 
where he had been brought up. Jesus was brought up in Nazareth. So that is why he's called Jesus of Nazareth. He's not called Jesus of Bethlehem of Judea. Bethlehem of Judea, that is where he was born. But he's not called Jesus of Bethlehem. He's called Jesus of Nazareth because that is where he grew up from. So Jesus came to where he was brought up. And as his custom was, as his tradition was, he went into the synagogue on a Sabbath day and stood up so that he may read. Yes, it was his custom to read. So he went there and by that time, he was the one on duty to read. They gave him the book of Isaiah. Look at this. Verse number 17. And there was delivered unto him the book of prophet Isaiah. They are in the New Testament, but he was delivered the book of prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found a place that was written before we wind up. A place that was written. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. The power of God is upon me because he has anointed me. The commissioning of Jesus was from above. He was anointed by the Lord. Lord God himself. And I want to promise you, and I want to tell you, man of God, you cannot operate in this world without receiving the grace of a higher authority to commission you to go and preach. Even Jesus was anointed to preach the gospel, number one, to the poor. To preach the gospel to the poor. Jesus was a preacher of prosperity. And the first place Jesus began his ministry was how to conquer poverty. How to eradicate famine in the life of humanity. To preach the gospel to the poor. To make sure that this curse that is punishing humanity is brought on its knees. It is laid to rest. And I want to make this declaration to you. That every curse that is punishing your family with the poverty. Every curse punishing you with the poverty. May that curse be eradicated by the blood of Jesus. May that curse be silenced, terminated by the power in the name of of Jesus Christ. That the spirit of the Lord God is upon me, for he has anointed me. What is the purpose of this anointing upon Jesus? To preach the gospel to the poor. To eradicate this punishing curse that is causing you to labor without favor. To eradicate this power that keeps people working under closed heaven. What was the reason of Jesus being anointed? To break this curse of prolonged joblessness. To make sure that your financial hardship is suspended out of your life once and for all. To make sure that this syndrome of losing property in your life is brought to its knees forever. The power of huge debt will be suspended out of your life forever. In the name of Jesus. The inability to keep jobs is eradicated out of your life. And that is the anointing that was resting upon Jesus to make sure that you are born again, never to suffer again. My goodness, you are born again, never to suffer again. Those that are watching me right now, I'm going for a short break. And when we come back, we'll build up on that. But I want to pray for you. That curse of poverty must release your house, must release your children in Jesus' name. Prolonged joblessness, huge debts must be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. My numbers are right on the screen. Talk to me, call me right now, tell me, Dr. Oracle, you are speaking to me. You are speaking to me. I want you to tell me, I want to partner with the Oracle Television Network. I want to be a partaker of this grace. Our pay bill number is there. Our television numbers are on the screen. Tell me, I am giving a sacrifice to partner with the grace to multiply. The grace of abundance in Jesus' mighty name. I'll be seeing you in the next broadcast. But please keep tuned to Oracle Television Network. The future is here. 
in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.